Okay, we got this 328i. It's BMW 328i. It's 2011. And they said that the uh, turn signals. So you put the turn signal on, nothing. Go the other way, nothing. Um, the windows don't work. So, um, what happens with these is a lot of times the FRM gets uh, corrupted from a dead battery. So if you look, we got this FRM um, communication not possible with the control unit. So I'm going to get the FRM out and then we're going to see if we can recover this and uh, get this car going. Okay, so we got our FRM3 out. You can see right here, FRM3. So we just got to pop off all these clips here on the outside. And these ones on the front. And this thing will come apart. There we go. So there's our board. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have to go on VVDI 2 or VVDI Prog and we're going to see. Sorry about that. We're going to have to go on VVDI Prog and we'll have to see where um, where our wires got to get hooked up and which one we got to use. So I'll bring up VVDI Prog now. Okay, so we got Okay, so we got our VVDI prog open. So we're going to select uh, I believe it's, it's other and we'll go to BMW and then should get FRM. So we have to look on here and see what ship this is. Right there, it's a 3M25J. Um, what's the rest of it? Let's see if we can get the rest of it on here. 84M. So it's a 384. Okay, so we can see 384 right here. So we're gonna click this, and then we'll go to connections. And this is what we gotta connect up. So I'm gonna solder these up here on the back to our points, and then we'll try to read this and fi fix it. Okay, so I pointed to the wrong spot. It was over here where they had to be soldered. There's four spots. So we're going to switch over to VVDI Prog and then we're going to record do it, fixing this. Okay, so we're back in VVDI Prog. So you can see it points to where we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be over here. So we'll close this. Um, we'll press read. Oh, we need 12 volt power. Um, give me a second. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Let's press read. Let's see if it reads this time. Size manually. Okay, let me come right back to this because it's corrupted. That's why we can't. So I read through my notes. We just gotta press OK here. So we got a reading. Okay. this real quick make sure that our read was good now it's checking okay complete so let's save this save this in our EEPROM folder save this as a uh, 2011 BMW was a 328. Yes. So let's save this as. Uh, oh, I guess I already had one. Let's 
say this is say this is right. I'll change it later. Oh, yeah. Do this flash original. Okay, now we'll read the uh yeah, I think this is the part that actually gets corrupt. This one, but I just want to make a backup of it. Usually when I do modules, I back up everything, that way I have it for future use, and like sometimes I can use stuff from other modules to like break a different one. So let's verify this real quick. I always verify, because sometimes you might have a bad connection, and when you repeat it again, it says it don't match. After this, I have a tool that I had found online. I can link to it, and we'll get this uncorrupted. So it's the E E. Okay. So now we want to close this. Close this one. So that was E E that was corrupt. So that's our emulated E prompt. So we'll name this E E. Check, make sure I'm doing this right. Be right back. Okay, so we gotta go to the right over here on the right side. There we go. And now we can write this back. There we go. Try 
lighting. Okay, guys, so we got this all back together. So this thing just lives over here. Just got to connect all the connectors back up, and uh, we'll see if this thing works. It just goes in here, just like that. Actually, I think it went this way. And then there's just two plastic nuts that hold it in place. Right in the kick panel. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, what is it, the key? Oh, it's right there. Let's see. Oh, look at that turn signal. To where our windows work. Look at that. Oh, it tries to move. The other ones just work. Well, this window works. Oh, did it finally go? There it goes. They're just stuck. Oh, look at that. There we go. So let's start this up. Move this panel out of the way a little bit so we can start this up. Oh, and the battery's dead. That's good. That's what kills these. Let me get a jump pack. Okay, we got our jump pack on there. Let's start this back up. Got it all back together. There we go. Let's make sure our turn signals and everything work. There we go. Look at that. So what happens is when the car powers down, the uh, when the car powers down, the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the there's data being written to the written to the EEPROM of like I guess like seat position, all kinds of stuff, and when that happens. Uh, and the battery dies or gets low, it gets corrupted. Let's go back. We might have to re ID this. Let's see. We should be able to talk to this now because our windows, everything works. I might have to wait for this to load. else didn't work. I know they said the windows and the lights didn't work. Especially the wipers probably didn't work and now they probably do. And now they're going to keep going. Let's see if that keeps them off. Lever's messed up. Let's see. Let's go to control. Okay, we're back. Phone really hates us filming in 4K with how hot it's been. Let's go into our FRM. Trouble codes. Look at that. Look at that though. Let's see, erase codes. Okay. So now if we get a trouble codes, at least we got codes now. So I hope you guys like this. They just need it uncorrupt. Um but now we can talk to it where we couldn't before. It kept saying no communication. Hope you guys like this. See you later.